<laughs> okay, we're halfway up the steps. We are going to uh, Contursi. Contursi, um, somewhere that you might not have heard of. It is a town full of thermal spas. So there's lots of pools, lots of different temperatures. Hopefully they're all going to be warm because it's about the 20th of January and it's pretty cold. Seven degrees when we woke up this morning. So it's a two hour drive from here. I'm going to pick up Gloria and Fabrizia and go off on an adventure. Okay, we have driven from Positano, it's exactly a two hour drive. These are the Termet Capas or in Contursi and um, they're natural thermal spas, you can smell the sulphur. There's a big pool here which is a hot pool and then there's three various different layered pools of different temperatures. Um, luckily they're going to let us bring the dogs with us and we've booked a room for the night with the whole massage and um, sauna and steam room and everything included. And it's actually a really good price. We have paid something like 60 euro per person. So let's go see what it's like. The um, pools are open until 10 o'clock in the evening and we've got here, it's only 11 o'clock in the morning at the moment, so obviously we can't spend the whole day in. So we're gonna go out and have a little explore around and get some lunch and then come back because we also can't check in until half past two. So we're gonna go do that now and then we will come back this afternoon. We've booked in for our massages at four o'clock and I can't wait. And this little town is called Olivetto, Oli Oli I can't say it, Olivetto. Say it. Citra. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it's called. <laughs> this is obviously the little centre and it looks like it's got its own little castle up there. Here's an interesting fact about this little village. On the 24th of May 1985, it is alleged that the Blessed Virgin Mary made an appearance in Olivieto Citra holding a baby. Over a hundred villagers signed statements confessing to see the apparition, but it's not been approved by the Catholic Church yet. <laughs> So if you watched the last video that the four of us did together when we went diving at Baia, um, you remember that we went on a Monday and everything was closed and we found it really difficult to find somebody to take us diving and to find somewhere to eat. Same thing. It's Monday, everything is closed. <laughs> we can't find anywhere to eat. <laughs> we have found somewhere to eat. It's a very big restaurant, no people in it at all. <laughs> Right, we've finished lunch and it is now time to go check in and get massages and go into the pools. This is our room, it's very basic but it's very cheap as well. Um, I'll show you the view from outside. Now one thing is we haven't bought dressing gowns which is going to be absolutely vital if we're going to go outside. So we're going to have to go and rent some from reception. I've just been down to reception. We've hired some robes for the day. Carlo is changing his trousers off, so I'll turn around this way. Right, I'm gonna get changed. I will see you down at the spa. We have a situation here. Polly's <laughs> coming down with us because if we left her in the room, she would cry and cry and cry. So she's allowed to sit near the pool, but not on the edge of the pool, which is fine. These two with their head, head things on. It's all, firm, well, it's all mud on the bottom, like clay.
calda. Squishy. We are now about to have a massage, which is included in the price. The Freda? Ah, Freda, no me piace. I hate these things. They're always really, really cold. The calendar. She can go in. This one's really hot. It's like Carlo can hardly sit down, but it is full of squelchy mud. So, not my most attractive look. But um, this pool here, I don't know if you saw earlier on when the guy was cleaning it, it is full of mud, this white stuff, which is really hard. You've got to really try and grab it with your fingers underneath, and then you bring it up, and you can smear it all over. Um, and it makes your skin really soft. It's actually really good. So I forgot for a while that I was filming. We got cold in the end. It was about, it must have been about seven, half seven, and we started getting cold. So, because also our dressing gowns were wet because we'd been taking them off and putting them on and moving around and our feet were cold because we had no flip-flops. So we have come back up to the room. We've had a shower and put our clothes on and it feels amazing. We've also been down to the bar and had hot chocolate and cups of tea and cookies. And uh, we're gonna go out for some dinner. We are back in the restaurant that we were in at lunchtime and they keep bringing out these plates full of huge chunks of parmesan cheese and freshly cured ham and uh, it's not on the menu we don't order it it just gets given to us brilliant okay so it is um tuesday today next morning and it has been raining all night anyhow i thought i'd give you some information on the pools the main pool is at a temperature of between 40 and 42 degrees what we've discovered is this is the cooler part and the more you head that way, the warmer it gets. It is a perfect temperature. Last night we sat in here. I think we ended up in here for about three hours and it was just lovely. It was like a giant bath. On the next level down, this natural geezer throws up water of 60 degrees and with it, it, um, with it the white mud, which then gets filtered down from here down into this next pool here, which you saw yesterday was full of mud. And the mud is um, very good for the skin. It's great for any skin diseases. Um, it's rich in minerals and sulfur. Um, so yes, it does smell of rotten eggs quite a lot. And then we follow this little white, white steaming stream down to the third layer where the cooler bath is. Now this one is 30 degrees and here's Gloria and Fabrizia. <laughs> and it is much cooler than the other ones. Um, but it's lovely to just sit and lounge around in and it's all squelchy underfoot from the mud. <laughs> so this is the river just below. The water that's coming down here obviously gets um, let off into the river. Look at all the calcium or sulfur deposits, mineral deposits that's it's built up here. It's steaming over there. It is raining quite heavily, so I'm going to go in. I'm not going to go back in the pool this morning just because I don't like being cold. And it's cold when you get out and I've got no flip-flop. We just had a change of plan. We just remember that there is an internal giant jacuzzi. So um, we're going to go and get changed and go in there. Let's go to the jacuzzi. We're going to have to smuggle the dog in. <laughs> That was, that was wet. <laughs> <laughs> 
So I am now going to say goodbye. I hope you have enjoyed this video. I will put the information about this place down below in the description box. And um, have a good day. See you next time.